Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Life Hue Music. Thank you for stopping by. I always say that at the start, don't I? <laughs> well, come in, you're very, very welcome. I trust you not enjoyed my last video on Aussie alternate rock band Birds of Tokyo. And through the song Lanterns, we looked at shining a light in this world. So I trust you found that one encouraging. Well, this uh, video today is a bit of a tribute in response to an absolute world treasure um, that recently died. Uh, his story started in 1934 in Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, it was a very clean, tasteful and suburban home. Uh, but because his dad didn't spend much time with him, he spent hours in the backyard dressing up. Now, that's going to give you a bit of a hint about where we're going. Uh, this guy is an absolute worldwide treasure. Now, he can say stuff that no one in the, in the, in, in the rest of the world can say and get away with, absolutely. And this is what made this guy so iconic. The guy we're talking about is Barry Humphreys. A-O-C-B-E. He got those awards a bit later in life. Um, Barry Humphreys uh, started out um, and doing reviews in, in universities, you know, doing a few uh, gigs and cabarets and shows like that. But it was not until he went to Melbourne, to the Melbourne Theatre Company, that um, Edna Everidge, who of course one of his most iconic characters, um, got 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 created. Apparently, he was sitting in the back of the bus, just going around the suburbs, and that's where Edna Everidge uh, came into being. Of course, she was later known as Dame Edna Everidge. Um, but before that, um, so it was a bit of tinkering with her then. But he moved to theatre in the Sydney in the, in the 1950s. In the 1960s, thought, well, I need to expand my career a little bit. So he went to the iconic Luston, London, West End, rubbing shoulders with such comic icons as Dudley Moore, Peter Cook, Spike Milligan, amongst others. And so he performed in many, many West End shows over there and taking on one of the roles of Fagan in, the, in Oliver... Uh, an iconic role, I can just imagine him um, being in that role, absolutely. But he thought, oh, I'll come back to Australia. So 1970, give or take, he went back to Australia and Dame Edna Everidge got her start in the movie The Naked Bunyip. And so um, from that point onwards, um, just the, with the way that uh, this character is, what she says, the way she talks, just the absolute unobliterated confidence that this character's got, she well and truly has... has weaved the way into Australia's psyche and the world psyche. In fact, uh, Dave Medna is known for her one-night satirical reviews where she would just stand and talk to an audience for one or two hours about anything and everything. And to quote uh, Barry Humphreys, these characters were created because they could say things and get away with things that he couldn't. And we'll get on to a bit of a video of, of him in a little while which reflects on that a little bit more. Um, it was around 2000, uh, he went to the US and got some success over there, which is pretty, pretty cool, winning a special Tony Award. And um, really from that period on, when toured, toured about 2012, where he announced his retirement from, from live theatre, um, he just did what he did, you know, um, Park, Michael Parkinson interviews and uh, just one night shows wherever he went. And wherever he went, then the shows were sold out and enabled him to get a worldwide following. Now, unfortunately, uh, he did leave us on the 22nd of April 2023 at the age of 89. Apparently, he had, did have a fall early that, the, the, that year, and when they tried to operate, there was complications which led to his death. These things just happen, unfortunately. Such people, such as King Charles and Sarah Ferguson, have given their um, give, given their um, wishes to the family. Michael Parkinson, of course, interviewed pretty well all of um, Barry Humphrey's characters. Eric Idle, of course, Monty Python, the comedy royalty, and Ricky Gervais, a bit more up and coming. So let's talk a little bit more. And, and, and as I've said before too, um, Barry Humphrey's received the Order of Australia and a Commander of the British Empire. And I think that CBE certainly gave him gave him license <laughs> to to have a bit of a dig at the royal family in particular and be able to get away with it. 
Um, I think this is where I want to go to that. That is, you, not everyone can do this, but Barry Humphreys and his characters in both of his iconic characters were actually able to do that. So we've got a few clips. Let's start off with Sir Les Patterson. Uh, he was uh, created around 1974, uh, an Australian political attaché, known for his uncouthness, his staying clothes, very obese, lecherous and offensive. And and this is this is gave Barry Humphreys an incredible vehicle to be able to to say what he needed to say and get away with it. Now I've got a couple of clips of Sir Les Patterson. We've got 1998, a bit of a celebration to Prince Charles at this point. Earl McPherson, the iconic Australian model, in, introducing this character, and who can call King Charles as he is now? Chazza. Now, all respect to King Charles when I say that, but I need to let Les Patterson get, get away with that and, you know, absolutely no problems at all. So we've got him sort of wishing King Charles, or Prince Charles it was back then, an absolutely stunning happy birthday. And then just to stamp up just things just a little bit more and probably a bit of more of a cabaret setting, we've got Sir Les Patterson and Roger Moore singing a bit of a song about style. Now, this is absolutely hilarious because Les Patterson thought he was a person of style and when I mean, clearly he wasn't. And this is what makes his character so funny. And so we've got to Sir Les and style right there. Now, of course, I've already talked about when Dame Edna was was kind of created uh, around that 1950s era, 50s era. And so she certainly did endear it to herself to the world. Of course, she's one of the few that can get away with doing what she does um, in these clips. Now, this one's been going around a little bit around Facebook, and this is her sitting in the royal box of all places. Charles, Camilla are both there. And then... Uh, she sits down and she gets told, hang on, you're in the wrong seat. And only she can say, they found me a better seat. <laughs> now, Dame Edna was known for her gladioli plants. She'd always have them draped around her. And of course, Norm, her husband, <laughs> suffering, long-suffering husband, and the little suburban housewife from many ponds. <laughs> but, you know, uh, that... I suppose mega, mega existence did not stop her from becoming one of the most glamorous, iconic characters in world history. And because of that, um, she endeared herself to the world. But she was always a housewife from many ponds. <laughs> so we've got that iconic clip, which everyone's probably seen by now, from the Royal Box. We've also got her on Parkinson. Now, obviously, Parkinson and Barry Humphreys had a really good relationship so here he, she, meets, she meets Tom Jones, and you know, what can we say? <laughs> it's the way that she delivers, the way that she just um, slips things in there without warning, but because of the way she is, she gets away with it. Now, Parkinson's a very public forum to say anything, so to be able to say stuff as she does and get away with it, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So we've got a video of uh, Michael Parkinson, uh, Dame Edna Everidge, and Tom Jones. So I thought we'd better also just get back to Barry Humphreys, the man. I found this pretty amazing uh, clip on YouTube, Talking Politics with Jon Snow. In this particular video, this short interview, he basically talks about his characters, what his characters enabled him to do, and enabled him to be able to talk to the world with stuff that normally we couldn't say and this what made um, Barry Humphreys so iconic so we've got that really nice interview and we also got him as MC to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival Great Debate and I thought it'd be great to see Barry Humphreys deliver some comedy in his own right and as he says at the start I really struggle with this character above all the others because when he does get into those other characters he really gets into them. I do wonder, you know, when does the character emerge? Perhaps when with Dane Edna, when the week goes on, and maybe with Sir Ed Les, when the tie goes on. It's all about getting into that character and to being, character being absolutely seamless with them, which is what made Barry Humphreys so iconic, bringing some of the most iconic characters to the world of comedy. So, um, if any of the uh, Barry Humphrey family are watching, thank you for this absolutely iconic guy that brought his gift to the world. The world is just so much um, lighter and happier because he was part of it. And, you know, to be brave enough to do what he did, um, and certainly, you know, 
when Dynevna came around, it wasn't so cool back then, but he actually carried that character so, so well. And to be able to bring in a really uncouth, unsavory character and make him famous also gives him credit. So if any of the team are watching, thank you for supporting him as he brought happiness to the world. And what can we say as far as reflecting today? Well, again, it comes about down to being yourself. And when, when you are yourself, being able to establish characters to just really you know, will give you a vehicle. And sometimes we need to have characters to bring a vehicle to us. But it changed the world, which is what Barry Humphreys absolutely did. So I trust you will be encouraged by his story as we give a bit of a tribute to Barry Humphreys AO CBE today. So the links to those, I think there's six uh, clips are in the description below. And I've also included my last video on Birds of Taika, which is all about letting a light shine, which Barry Humphreys certainly did. That one's there for you as well. Well, if you've come back for another one, this is your first time, the Life Reflections Your Music. Thank you to everyone for hanging around to the end, coming back or coming here for the first time. So um, plenty more contact to come and I, I was thought I was going to get onto Hanson a little while ago at the start of the hatches but I'm still remembering characters up to G so let's just get through those first. So next time we're going to get on to Craig David so until then I'll catch you around. Bye for now.